It's an unboxing and I'm going to try and be quick because, well, there's a number of reasons. There's a lot to talk about. I usually go on too long and there's a um, product available of this new product. It's a review product for me. It's a Power Link Zero pedal. Apparently there's going to be stock in Australia as of the launch date, which is pretty much effective immediately. That's what they look like. I'm going to find out a hell of a lot more, but I've broken with protocol a little bit and I've had a tiny little read about what the highlights are, what it's all about, how it's meant to work, and uh, I've, I do know even the pricing. So there's two versions. You can have a left only power meter or a, a power meter on both pedal axles. The left only in Australia is $950. And the double sided is 1500 Australian dollars. That's a little bit of the admin out of the way. And the brown box out of the way. Because I just got the new element bold, I can tell you the boxes, they are glorious. Accuracy, uh, plus or minus 1%. Battery life, 75 hours. Power, dual sided for my review pair, so $1500 pedal sitting in this box. Uh, connectivity, Bluetooth slash AMP plus, a spindle, stainless steel, weight, according to the box, 275 grams, or is that 76? I think it's 276 grams. So this is the double-sided $1,500 pedals from Wahoo. Power link zero, so they say, and an adjustable float cleat of zero to 15%. Right, that's actually pretty much every, okay, I know it all. I throw it away. Oof, have a look at this. So I've talked about the packaging, <coughs> slightly magnetised, little oh, it's beautiful and it looks smashing. Okay, I think you're going to see a hell of a lot of this because there's media sets of these pedals being released. Yes, in 2022, when there's a pandemic on, we're actually getting to have a look at something when it's being launched. What can I tell you? Powerful Games, designed specifically to help cyclists get the most out of every training session. Powerlink Zero connects riders with accurate ride data they need to achieve consistent gains and breakthrough performances. That sounds excellent. Oh, I hope I get breakthrough performance. That would really make me happy. And if these pedals can help me do that, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? They look unreal. Actually, I'm just going to do a little close-up because they look bloody beautiful. Before I dismantle it, I think it's good to capture this. Okay, so I'm excited for a number of reasons. Number one, uh, power data is really, really quite addictive. Once you start using a power meter, you basically think that you lost without one. Look at this, this is beautiful. Like I've talked about the packaging, but look, this I know from experience, there's a tiny little material tag and then eesh, it is beautifully fitted. Oh, well, beautifully fitted, but I didn't quite have it. So. Even when the courier arrived with the package, I took it from him, said thanks very much, and then said, well, that feels heavy, and it does. It does like that. So, just for the purpose of this exercise, because I know people like to know about weight, and they'll probably receive the package and think, mm -hmm, that seemed a bit heavy, I will weigh it. I said I'd be quick, but I'm going to give you the detail as I see it, as I experience it, and then it'll answer some questions. I haven't seen what's underneath that packaging, but we can assume that it's the speed play cleats on account of Wahoo now having acquired speed play pedals. So with the boxes, just like that, as you probably get it from the courier or from the shop, 866 grams. 
So for pedals, based on the fact that the time ones I'm using are less than 100 grams each, that does seem excessive, but we don't know what's in there. There could be something else underneath. So let's just do the pedal weight only as I pull it out for the very first time and think, there's a lot of tech in there and it's, it does feel a little bit weighty and it is 138 grams. I will document that. I'm very excited about this product. They look fantastic. They're the pedals. We have the cleat adapter. So the cleat adapter, um, another cleat adapter. I'll have to work all of that out. I won't do that in front of the camera. I can't remember. I have fitted uh, speed plate cleats before. I'm just going to pull the scales over. A tiny little confession, I did do this way in moments earlier, but I've got to push record on the camera, so sorry about that. So if you see me sort of um, not pulling these things out in a particular order, it's uh, because of that. A very long charge cable, put that aside. So we have two pedals at 276 grams, isn't that terrific? That's great. So then we're going to add all of the accoutrements. So there's a couple of different sets of bolts, some shims that you might need an aero thingy. There's all of these sorts of bits and pieces. That is the um, charge port, so I won't weigh that. These are the bolts, that and the shims, the bubble. And these are the bleed, 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 bleed. That's all the cleat hardware. I don't know if we're gonna use all of that, but I would assume we will. All of the cleat hardware weighs in at 204 grams. So then adding the pedals. So this is sort of what's on your shoes and your, your bicycle and it's 480 grams. Okay, 480 grams, all up, all up, all up, all combined. I'm going to divide this review into a number of different sessions, but that pretty much sums up the unboxing. Okay, so, power link, pedals. I'm excited, it's really, it's an exciting product test because there's so a lot of tech. It's not cheap. But once you start using power data, you don't stop. And you'll find it really interesting and it changes how you run.